So this is a, a, a thing that we've seen before. The rights are split between BT and Sky in the UK. Just talk us through who got what here because there are some anomalies. There really are and, and you know when you think about the premiership it's uh, you know it used to be just all Sky. Sky had yep. all this all the uh, soccer all the all the football rights and that's what drove their subscriber growth. Uh, you know they, they changed it up uh, the last time the rights were auctioned off back in 2015 they wanted a second bidder. BT came in and uh, created a second bidder and they are sharing the rights now. Now with these new rights going out uh, that are going to start next year uh, it'll be Sky and BT but there's still two other packages that have not been uh, allocated yet. So the expectation is, we don't know who they're going to, but the expectation is it may be one of the digital players, one or more of the digital players, whether it's an Amazon or uh, you know, one of the other players out there that could be, you know, represent a, a new potential you know, partner out there, to, uh, just distributor of this programming, which is kind of what I think a lot of the sports leagues around the world are, are, are moving towards. They want to put some of their product onto these digital services because that's where uh, the audience is going. Yes, and the hope here is that ultimately it bids up the number of people that are bidding for these rights and therefore bids up the price but this didn't happen with Sky this time around they're paying less. Yeah it looks like Sky came out with an announcement they're paying about 16 percent less per on a per game basis that likely reflects um, I think the uh, the re decline in ratings that we've seen over the last couple uh, of years uh, from sports in general okay. including uh, the premiership uh, but we'll have to see how it all shakes out there's a lot of numbers that still need to be uh, out there but uh, as you mentioned it's always better to have more bidders for your content to bid up the price and, and we've seen that most notably in the United States with the NFL who's done it better than anybody else. Yes. And they kind of started that trend, right? Uh, uh, spreading it out among all the different players because if everyone's invested in it, it preserves the ecosystem as opposed to creating this uh, zero-sum game. Exactly right. And I think they found, uh, you know, a long time ago that uh, the more bidders you have for your product, uh, the better. And then what happens is once these networks get used to having NFL football and the ratings associated with that and the promotional platform associated with that, they can't let it go. And, we, and we've seen a couple of times where, you know, maybe 20 years ago, CBS walked away, big mistake. Mm. NBC at one point, uh, they walked away, big mistake, mistake, they both came back. And so now you've got the big four networks in the United States uh, all carrying, um, including ESPN, all carrying football. And that's the thinking. Sky and BT are entrenched in this. Maybe they can get a Facebook or a Google or Netflix to, to join the party as well and to become one of the regular bidders. Yeah, I think so. Have they so. given any indication, these new players, about how they might want to jump in? You know, really to date, the over-the-top, the digital players, they've just kind of, you know, they've kind of dipped their toes. They haven't really made big investments. Sports is very uh, expensive. So Netflix has come out and said they will not do sports. They do not want to get involved in that. So it's very expensive and, uh, you know, they haven't really done that much. A little bit of, on here and there on the edges. As exciting as this is, let's cut to the chase. The big question here is if this is better for Sky and they're paying less per game, what does it mean for a Fox or for a Disney that's looking at mm. um, assets here? Yeah, I think this is important. Um, you know, this is an important asset for Sky. Therefore, it's important for Fox that owns 39% of Sky. And yes. it's important for Disney who's looking to buy that 39%. So uh, this is a you know a very big programming asset for them. I'm sure the buyers, those Fox, and I'm sure Disney and even Comcast, who's yes. looking at this transaction, is saying, okay, when I when I look at Sky, I see they have a big major programming.